This is our video about the information processing model. It is a way to think about how the brain encodes, stores, and retrieves memories. Encoding is how the brain gets information into it. Storage is how the brain retains the information, and retrieval is how it gets it back out. An analogy for this process would be the computer. You use the keyboard to type and encode information, just like your brain encodes sensory input. This information is stored in the computer's hard drive, as incoming information is stored in your brain. Then, this information can be retrieved by displaying it on the screen, like when you recall stored memories. Encoding happens when the senses are stimulated and those sensations are decoded in the sensory areas of the cortex, then combined in the hippocampus into a single experience. Emotion makes memories more likely to be remembered. The amygdala is in charge of this. Memory is based on association. The stronger the association with past memories, the stronger the memory. Association is the linking of new memories to old ones, making the memory stronger. Memories are also increased through consolidation, the strengthening of the memory after initial acquisition through the repeating firing of certain synapses. Memories are stored in the cortex in the area they're from. For example, the visual cortex stores sight memories and the auditory cortex stores memories of sounds. Remembering, or retrieval, is performed by the brain retracing the pattern of neural activity that happened when the memory was first encoded. There are two methods of retrieval. Recognition, recognizing something you've seen before when it's in front of you. Or recalling, remembering a fact or event that's not currently happening. This concludes our video about the information processing model of memory.